Jakarta, the bustling capital of Indonesia, is a cultural melting pot. A diverse mix of traditions from Javanese and Malay to Arab, Indian and Dutch swirl together in this megalopolis. The result is a dynamic, lively city with its own intriguing flavour. You'll discover that Jakarta has the world's best coffee scene and most socialising in the city takes place at trendy cafes, not lounges. You'll find yourself craving the fried rice found at Jakarta's countless street food stalls and develop friendships with the chefs. And you'll end up in the city's glitzy, multi-purpose shopping malls for retail therapy along with entertainment, events and art. Jakarta's tourist attractions will also show you a deeper side of this cosmopolitan city. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated things to do in Jakarta. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So let's cut to the chase. At 10, splash around Ankol Beach. Looking for a way to beat Jakarta's heat and humidity? Head north to the city's popular beach resort of Ankol. The expansive recreation area features a marina, sandy shore and swimming pools where you can rent a sun lounger and cool off for the day. There's also a lovely promenade and boardwalk which makes great spots to watch the sunset. Besides the beach, this area is also home to another popular attraction, Ankol Dreamland. The waterfront attraction offers fun for the whole family, including a massive oceanarium, a water park with a maze of twisting slides, a world-class golf course, botanical gardens, a zoo and a theme park with more than 40 rides. If you're travelling to Jakarta with kids, you'll definitely want to include a day or two in Ankol on your itinerary. Next up at 9, gaze at Istiqlal Mosque. When you're visiting a country with the world's largest Muslim population, you'll want to make a point to experience Islamic culture and attractions firsthand, starting with a visit to Istiqlal Mosque. The largest mosque in Southeast Asia and one of the world's largest mosques, this religious site in Jakarta has the capacity to hold a whopping 120,000 visitors at any given time. The five-level dome structure, much of which is made from marble from East Java, spans an impressive nine-hectare area near Monas. Conservatively dressed tourists are welcome to visit the mosque outside of prayer times, but if you don't have time to go inside, simply stand nearby and listen to the call to prayer delivered from the structure's soaring minaret throughout the day. Next up, at 8, explore Kemang, Jakarta's trendiest neighbourhood. Devote an afternoon of your Jakarta itinerary to exploring Kemang. Widely considered to be Jakarta's trendiest neighbourhood, the suburban expat area brims with cafes, shops and sightseeing opportunities. There are tons of things to do in Kemang. Sip a strong cup of coffee at Say Something Coffee while watching dogs play at the nearby dog park. Browse shelves of novels in the serene Aksara bookstore. Check out the latest apparel from up-and-coming Indonesian designers at Kemang's ever-changing roster of boutiques. Catch a flick at the Kinosaurus Micro Cinema. Get in touch with your creative side by seeing an art exhibit at Kemang Gallery 58. It's also worth indulging in weekend brunch at Kemang's bustling restaurants if you can score a table. Call ahead to make reservations. Hot tip! It's tough to get to Kemang on public transportation. Flag a Bluebird taxi or hop on the back of an Ojek, an informal motorcycle taxi, to reach this area. At 7, learn about Jakarta's history in the Old Town. Indonesia's capital may look shiny and modern, but it still retains relics of its charming historical atmosphere in Kota, Jakarta's Old Town. The area served as the Dutch East India Company's headquarters in the 17th century. It's one of the best places to visit on your first day in Jakarta to get a sense of this city's storied past. Taman Fatahila is the centre of sightseeing in Kota. Dutch colonial buildings surround the cobblestone plaza, creating a stately atmosphere that stands in stark contrast to the glass and concrete skyscrapers found elsewhere in Jakarta. The nearly 400-year-old whitewashed building on the southern edge of the square has been transformed from a town hall to the Jakarta History Museum. Inside, you'll find more than 20,000 historical objects, including antique maps, ceramics and Batawi-style furniture, along with prison cells that held Indonesian freedom fighters in the 19th century. 
Another worthwhile attraction to explore in Kota is Museum Wayang on the western edge of Taman Fatahila. It takes travellers through the Javanese tradition of wooden puppetry. The cultural institution occasionally hosts free puppet shows. For more art and culture in Kota, check out the Museum Seni Rupa Dan Keramik, just across the square from Museum Wayang. It displays a remarkable collection of ceramics and handicrafts from Indonesia, as well as pieces from Europe and other parts of Asia. Don't spend all your time indoors, though. Lined with intriguing wooden shuttered buildings, Kota's side streets are a treasure trove of photographic sites and rich atmosphere. Explore the area by foot or rent a bike from Fatahila Square. When you're ready to refuel, the famous Cafe Batavia is the best spot to escape the heat and sip on classic punch mocktails. Sounds great. Now at six, take a day trip to the Thousand Islands. Need a break from Jakarta's concrete jungle? Take a day trip to the Thousand Islands, a cluster of 110 exquisite islands scattered in the Java Sea, just north of the city. Ferries and private shuttles whisk tourists to hotspots within this island chain from Marina Ankol every day. You can reach one of the closest Thousand Islands, Pulau Bidadari, in just 30 minutes from the ferry port. Highlights of the destination include rare trees, sandy beaches and a 17th century fort. You can also spend the night in an overwater bungalow. Picturesque Pulau Tidung is another favourite spot for a day trip. Tourists spend their time on this island bicycling, snorkelling and snapping photos along the legendary Love Bridge, which connects the main island with a smaller piece of land. You'll feel worlds away from the big city the moment you step foot on Pulau Sepa. Located about 90 minutes away from Jakarta, the island is an adventure lover's paradise. Choose from water sports like banana boat rides, snorkeling, jet skiing and diving. If you miss the ferry back to the city, you can sleep in a cottage or camp out under the stars. Hot tip! Tours like the Jakarta Thousand Island Excursion make it easy to escape from Jakarta for the day and get back to the city in time for a nasi goreng dinner. At five, experience contemporary art at Museum Makan. Indonesia made international headlines when the country cut the ribbon on its first contemporary art institution, Museum Makan, in November 2017. The critically acclaimed attraction has since built a reputation as one of the top places to visit in Jakarta. The 7,100 square meter space showcases an important 800 piece collection built over 25 years, primarily by art aficionado and businessman Harianto Adekoesoemo. Inside the cultural icon, tourists can see whimsical fiberglass creations from Yayoi Kusama, romantic paintings from beloved Indonesian artist Raden Sales Jadjip Burstaman, and a unique watercolor map of Bali by Mexican painter Miguel Cavarubias. Check the museum's website for the most up-to-date list of exhibitions and events during your visit to Jakarta. At four, shop till you drop at Jakarta's mega malls. You're never more than a stone's throw away from a mega shopping mall in Jakarta. The city has more than 170 shopping malls spread throughout its neighborhoods. Many of them feature impressive architecture with multiple floors of shops, theatres, restaurants, grocery stores, salons, galleries and other things to do, making them the ideal place to spend time while you avoid the stifling rush hour traffic in the capital. Which malls are the best places to visit in Jakarta? The answer depends on what you're looking for. Plaza Indonesia in central Jakarta brims with international luxury brands like Bulgari, Rolex, Kate Spade and Christian Louboutin, as well as locally made batik textiles. Grand Indonesia Shopping Town, a mall in view of the Selamat Datang Monument, features the largest movie theatre in Indonesia, a fountain show and a video game arcade. In West Jakarta, shoppers can head to Maltaman Anggrek, also known as MTA, for more than 500 stores, concerts in the central atrium, one of the country's largest indoor ice skating rinks and a massive LED display that stretches around the entire building. Foodies should make a point to have a meal or two at the robust food hall inside of Plaza Senayan in central Jakarta. At three, relax at Merdeka Square. 
Merdeka Square, a 75 hectare park surrounded by lush greenery in central Jakarta, is the Indonesian capital's answer to the plazas around European cities. It's considered one of the world's largest public squares. Jakartans flock to the grand expanse on leisurely weekend days with their friends and families, making Merdeka Square the place to go for a slice of everyday life in its bustling urban area. Merdeka Square's defining feature is the National Monument. Also known as Monas, the 132-metre-tall tower, topped with a gold foil flame, symbolises Indonesia's struggle for independence. The architectural marvel took 14 years to construct and was opened by Suharto, Indonesia's second president in 1975. The base of the monument houses the National History Museum, a small attraction with dioramas that depict the history of the Indonesian independence movement. Tourists can also take a lift to the top of Monas every hour, if they can get their hands on one of the limited tickets before they sell out. Merdeka Square offers the perfect atmosphere for relaxing on a weekend afternoon. Watch pick-up games of soccer, spread out a picnic on one of the grassy lawns and visit the adorable spotted deer in an enclosed area near the southeastern corner and see if you don't leave feeling restored. And now at number two, see kites at Museum Liang Liang. Flying kites has been a tradition in this part of the world for more than 2,000 years and there's no better place in Jakarta to learn about this heritage than at Museum Layang Layang, an attraction down a serene alley in Pondok Labu. A short movie screening in the museum explains the origins of kite flying in Indonesia as well as the many styles of kites. Just the right amount of information tourists need to appreciate the attraction's collection of more than 600 colourful kites. Look up to see a massive flying horse kite with wings that span the length of the entryway. The museum also displays the head of a fire-breathing dragon kite, a sailing ship that flies, traditional kites made from bamboo and banana leaves, and a wow-worthy 3D kite of a horse-drawn carriage, complete with spinning wheels. If you're feeling inspired after your tour, you can use materials at the museum to construct your own kite that makes for a one-of-a-kind souvenir. And finally, at number one, visit the Museum Nacional. The Museum Nacional is one of the best places to visit in Jakarta. Located on the western edge of Merdeka Square, this archaeological and ethnological attraction boasts a rich collection of around 70,000 artefacts. It's considered to be one of the Southeast Asia's best museums. You don't even need to enter the Museum Nacional to start experiencing its many treasures. The courtyard of the more than 150-year-old building features a peaceful fountain topped by a bronze elephant statue given by Siam monarch Chula Longkorn to Batavia in 1871. The iconic work inspired the main structure's nickname as the Elephant Building. The museum is divided into two distinct wings, each of which boasts its own exhibits. The new wing features four floors of exhibits on culture and human origins in Indonesia. Don't miss the collection of priceless gold jewellery and artefacts from central Java, the exhibit of stunning rare textiles from around Indonesia and a model of the Flores Man, the remains of an early human discovered on the island of Flores in 2013. A glass-walled bridge connects the new wing to the old wing, where you will find Museum Nacional's renowned collection of classical Hindu-Buddhist statues. One of the highlights is the four-metre-tall carving of Aditya Warman, King of Malayapura, standing atop a ring of skulls. The old wing also contains collections of prehistoric ceramics from around Asia, ancient Indonesian ethnographic tools, relics of the Dutch East India Company and treasure from royal houses across the archipelago. Hot tip! There are free English tours of the museum throughout the week, hosted by members of the Indonesian Heritage Society. Check the museum's website for current days and times. And there you have the top 10 rated things to do in Jakarta. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.